talk to Mark Murphy. He's the founder and CEO of TravelPulse.com and author of Travel Forward. He joins us from the great city of Philadelphia. Mark, AAA says travel this 4th of July was expected to be up 2% from last year. 41 mm -hmm. million people traveling at least about an hour from home. 3 million flying, 35 million of them uh, by car. So let's break it down. What should uh, flyers yeah. expect? Flyers should anticipate the potential of cancellations. If this storm comes in, the way they're outlining it right now, it's definitely going to affect air travel in certain markets. And that means that because of government regulations, the airlines, as we've seen with other things like snow in the wintertime, they proactively cancel departures because they don't want to have people stuck on the tarmac. And then those people are stuck on the tarmac and they suffer millions of dollars in fines. So right now, no one's canceling anything. They're not changing cancellation fees or change fees. They're not waiving any of that. So it's a wait and see with the airlines as well as the hotel uh, hotels that you've actually booked. And what about the 35 million who are anticipated to be driving? What should the drivers expect? Well, your meteorologist said the, the best thing. First of all, if you're going down to the beach, you're not going to go in the water. So I suggest if your vacation starting in the next two days, delay it a couple of days. Just let everything pass through, and then you'll know the situation on the ground. If you're already on location and you have concerns, don't wait for the mandatory rules to come into effect. If you're not feeling good about it, the water's rough, pack up, go home a couple of days early, get inland. Uh, you know, don't, don't think you have to put it all out there and take risks just because it's your vacation. You could do a staycation by staying home for a couple extra days. And Mark, we already know that gas prices are up 19 cents a gallon from last mm -hmm. year. How do you think uh, this weather could impact the cost of uh, vacations for our viewers? Will hotels raise prices because uh, of the situation? It could go to one of two ways. If there's an issue and people have to move inland and hotels fill up, those prices are going to go up. It's yield management. They're going to charge more for fewer rooms. On the other hand, if people stay away and the storm skirts the areas and they're open for business, then you're going to see really quick price cuts right now, and you can jump on that. So that's why it's better to kind of sit back and wait and see. And you can have an impulse-based vacation if everything goes okay for those folks down there on the coast. And uh, quickly, you, you heard the news at the top of the show yep. that there's going to be some enhanced uh, security uh, measures for some direct flights overseas coming from overseas to the United States. How should uh, travelers who are abroad or planning to go abroad, how should they prepare for that? Well, you know what? It's kind of what we've been going through. Take your shoes off, take your belt off, you know, pull your computers out. In some international markets, and this has been a problem with security, um, think about where the threats have originated. Most of the threats, uh, uh, read the shoe bomber, um, the uh, underwear bomber, all originated overseas. I'm glad they're taking these extra steps. The challenge is they can't govern those various markets. They can put practices into place, and we hope those other countries comply with that as a, uh, as a way of protecting all flyers, not just Americans who happen to be traveling back and forth. Mark Murphy, author of the book Travel Forward. Thank you so much.